Did I just alter my wedding dress again? Yeah. Let me explain, let me explain. This is my wedding dress. Hopefully this is the final version. Yes, I have altered it twice now, but the first time when, okay, let me explain. Let me take you all the way back. If you haven't seen my video of when I bought my wedding dress on AliExpress, you should probably watch that. You can see all the fit because then you can see how this actually fitted me out of the box from AliExpress. And hopefully you can understand why I did end up alterating my own wedding dress because I had to. It was not horrendously fitting, but the top was just very, very big. And then I didn't have a sewing machine. I used a £2.99 sewing kit from Amazon and hand sewed as much as I can. Now, I decided recently to buy a sewing machine because it sparked up my interest again. So, 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 I decided to alter my wedding dress as my project my first project for that sewing machine i am not a pro i'm not even an intermediate i'm a beginner when it comes to sewing machines so was this project too big for me yes did i do a good job i think i did a fairly decent job just don't look too close because otherwise you can see the wonky seams but other than that i'm gonna go through the steps that i've done to alter my dress using a sewing machine and I'm fairly happy with the results. I am actually quite happy. In fact, I'm gonna try and see if I can get a photo shoot, like a, a self photo shoot somewhere, maybe here. But yes, let's start. So as you can see, the top of the dress is very, very big. The straps literally just falls off unless I have my shoulders up, you know, elongating my torso, then it kind of stays. But other than that, it will absolutely just fall. So the first thing I did was actually ripped out the seams for all the alteration that I've done in the previous hand sewn alteration. And if you haven't seen that video, I did actually put a video up for that as well. If you are interested, by all means, you can check out the link here. Once I've ripped out all the seams from my previous video, I then ripped out the side seams of the actual dress and the seams that connects the bodice to the actual skirt. That way I'm left with the front and the back panel of the dress. Once I've done that, I actually decided to remove all the florals, all the appliques that were sewn onto the dress just because I didn't want to be bulky. I wanted, I wanted to do it right. My intentions were good. I used a seam ripper to manually remove them and all of these basically falls into this pile and I'm going to put them all together and then when the dress is finished then I think I might put it on but depending on how it goes we'll see we'll see I might end up realizing it might be done differently but learning as I go the next thing I decided to do was actually to clean the edges now the reason for this is because previously they don't really clean the edges the edges were you can see the scissors mark and because of the transparency of the fabric you can see it through up close. And remember, I'm trying to do things the right way, whatever way that is. So I decided to clean up the edges. And I did that by double folding because that way you really can't see the edges of any materials. So I did that and then I started using safety pins to pin them up to make sure that it stays in its current position and then I sewed it all the way through. The next thing I did was exactly the same as the previous one but for the bust seam. I also cut a little bit of the fabric on from the bust just because it was quite puffy on me and I really don't have much there to hold anyway. So I cut a bit of fabric and I did exactly the same thing and sewed it all up. Once that was all done, I pretty much eyeballed the breast cups first, just with safety pins, and then I tried to wear the dress to find out exactly whether or not the dress fits. Bear in mind that I also removed the sleeves because the sleeves forced the V-neck to be positioned at a certain way. And in that position, what I found was that the sleeve keeps falling off my shoulders. So I don't think I got very dramatic, you know, angular shoulders to hold these up. So what I decided to do was get rid of the sleeves so that the straps could literally be anywhere on my shoulders and it wouldn't fall. Another thing I will say is that I did try this dress out previously without any alteration. And what I found was that the front was still too big because of the deep V. I knew I had to do something. And so instead of taking the side seams in, I decided to actually close the deep V at the front. So instead of a deep V, it's more of a mid V because that also helps with the straps. My straps at the moment, it keeps falling off. But by moving that deep V to a mid V, it did solve the problem. So that was a win for me. Less sexy at the front, but it's much more comfortable. 
Once that's all done, I put the dress on and at this stage, essentially what I'm doing is just making sure that everything fits. I want to make sure that the straps wasn't falling off my shoulders. I want to make sure that the deep V at the back isn't just flopping out because last time it was also the back was just too long on me. I want to make sure that the front was sitting flat on me. I didn't want to have any air bubbles of materials that really didn't need to be there once that all checked out which second time try as you can see here it fits relatively well it just looks ugly because there's no flora at the top that's all it is so once that was all good i decided to use a pin to pin everything up very roughly around the body and once i was happy with the placement of the appliques on the bodice I decided to hand sew everything in with an invisible thread and that took me the whole evening. I think that took me two evenings actually. So that's essentially what I did. And once that was done, that was it. I have officially finished the dress. I am very, very happy. You can see that this is the final look. I'm sure there are people out there. Some of you might be thinking, oh, I much prefer the first look and that is perfectly fine. But I promise you at this very moment, the only reason I'm very happy is because it is much more comfortable. The fact that the sleeves, I don't have to worry about the straps falling off. It is such a blessing. And I'm not mad about the mid V, honestly, because there's not much going on at the front anyway. So I might as well just turn it into a mid V. So yes, that's essentially what I've done. So this is the before and this is the after. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think of my beginner alteration. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. Consider subscribing. I do like to try different things. But regardless, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely week and I'll see you next week. Bye.